The Gulf Cooperation Council stands by Qatar as it faces provocative remarks on its hosting of the World Cup. Thousands of workers have been evicted in Qatar to make way for the tournament. Over in Syria, Qatar charity sets up tents ahead of the winter season. And finally, could Tunisia lose its World Cup spot just days away from kickoff? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The GCC has unanimously condemned Germany's Interior Minister Nancy Faeser after she publicly criticized Qatar's hosting of the World Cup, citing its human rights record. The bloc backed Qatar's move to summon the German ambassador, describing the remarks as a violation of diplomatic norms, traditions, and international laws. Last week, Faeser said Qatar's hosting of the World Cup has proven very tricky for the German government and said it would be better that tournaments are not awarded to, quote, such states. Now, apartment blocks housing thousands of foreign workers in Qatar have been emptied of their tenants just weeks ahead of the World Cup. A shocking Reuters report said mainly Asian and African workers have been forcibly pushed out of their homes to make way for fans visiting the Gulf state next month. However, in a statement sent to Doha News, a Qatari official said the evictions are unrelated to the World Cup and is part of wider plans going to 2010 to rehouse workers living in uninhabitable accommodation. Doha News has learned that the accommodation buildings referred to in the Reuters report are not on the Qatar accommodation portal and are not offered as World Cup accommodation options. In Syria, Qatar Charity, with support from Qatar Fund for Development, has launched an early winter response project. This aims to aid internally displaced people by helping them with basic needs and providing them with shelter. Syrians displaced by the decade-long conflict face extremely low temperatures, floods, rainfall, and heavy snow during the winter season. And in sports, FIFA has sent out a warning message to the Tunisian Football Federation stating that if government involvement is found within the organization, then the national team's World Cup spot could be taken away. This comes after Tunisia's youth and sport minister reportedly sent out statements that interfere with the country's football federation, asking them to alter their footballing calendars and much more. Kenya and Zimbabwe are two African states that are currently serving suspensions from FIFA due to interference by a third party. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.